One time, my mom tried to set me up with a mortician. True story. It didn't work out, but I am now really good at contouring. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, y'all, you know the train wreck theory? When you don't want to stare, but you just can't look away. That's sort of like what's happening today. Five things funeral directors don't want you to know is super creepy and weird, but I kind of need to know. This is the tea. Number five, cremation station wagon. Many people choose to cremate, which is the process of burning a dead body at very high temperatures until there are only brittle calcified bones left, which are then pulverized into ashes. Not only is the cremation process more cost effective than a regular burial, it is also better for the environment and can be surprisingly helpful. In recent years, it is becoming increasingly popular for third-party companies to collect spare medical parts or prosthetics before the cremation process to be melted down and salvaged and used in the automotive, aeronautics, and the medical industry. Think road signs, car parts, and secondhand medical implants made from grandpa's hip replacement. Rude Verburn, co-founder of Ortho Metals, created his company to help collect and recycle metals from crematoriums and has committed to reduce the metal waste problem worldwide. I always wanted to be a southern angel in my next life, but I think a road sign might be good too. Number four, exploding caskets. After a body is buried and sealed in a casket, to put it simply, the body decomposes or rots within the box. Occasionally, due to heat and trapped gas and moisture from the decaying body, the casket becomes sort of a pressure cooker and can explode. Fortunately, this only happens to the subset of caskets placed above the ground in mausoleums. There is no specific data if or when this could happen, but scientists do know it has to do with gas being sealed within the box. This is absolutely disgusting, and I would never look up a video to watch of this on the internet. Does anyone have a link to the video after? So, okay, 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 okay. Number three, you can buy discount caskets. Casket prices vary widely due to the material they are made out of. Metal, wood, plastic, with an average casket costing around $2,000. A casket made out of a finer material, such as bronze or copper, can sell as much as $10,000. One of the most expensive caskets ever recorded was the Malaysian 14 karat gold casket, costing upwards of 217,000, featured in a coffin exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Due to the constant demand for caskets, big box stores began selling caskets for competitive prices, averaging around $1,000, with Amazon now offering prices below $800 with free shipping. I guess Amazon really does sell everything now. Can you imagine filling up your car? It's like toilet scrubber here, collagen for your morning smoothie, and oh yeah, a discounted casket. Okay, number two, four feet rule. Although many people like the idea of a green burial or to bury their loved one under their favorite tree, funeral directors prevent us from doing so. They remind us that bodies have to be at least four feet from a tree to protect the tree's root system. Digging and inserting a casket among the tree's roots would disrupt the way the tree's roots naturally grow and cause the tree to die. Alternative ways to do a green burial would be to plant a tree on top of a casket after it's underground, so the roots grow around the casket. I love gardening. Did y'all see my episode of Hey Y'all where my dad and I built a greenhouse? We didn't bury a body underneath there, but anyway, check out this link below to watch that video. Number one. No body needed. When someone we love passes on, the first thing we think of is funeral services and how much it will cost. On average, funerals cost between eight and $10,000. However, there are some things funeral directors don't want you to know. The body is not required during viewings unless you request it, meaning without the body, mortician services are not required and a casket is not required. Just like anything else, funeral homes are a business, so keep these tips and tricks in mind the next time you are planning a funeral. This is such a ripoff, y'all. Cash is king, and I'm certainly not saying that you should do a DIY embalming, but they have a Pinterest page for everything. What am I even saying? All right, y'all, today was weird. Like and subscribe if you love funeral secrets.
Let us know the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you at a funeral in the comments.